I didn't realize until a couple of years ago that I didn't truly love myself. And once I realized it, I started working on it. And I didn't realize the importance of self-love. In order to have a good balanced relationship with yourself, with others, even with your children, you have to learn to love yourself. I'm creating this series about self-love because I want to help other women discover how to love themselves. So if you are struggling with loving yourself, make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video. I'm going to share four important tips with you. Tip number one, be kind to yourself. I had a problem with being kind to myself. For example, whenever I get ready to learn something new, and if I don't understand how to do it right off, I'm hard on myself and I talk to myself and I say mean things to myself. I am learning to be kind to myself, to have patience with myself, not to be so hard on myself. Tip number two, watch negative self-talk. I find myself to where I talk negative to myself. I say mean things to myself and I'm learning not to do that. Two or three months ago, I enrolled in a course that teaches you how to build an app for an iPhone. And I had never done anything like that before. So I didn't know anything about the language that they use in order to build an app. So it was like learning a new language. And at first I was a little hard on myself and I kind of felt a little overwhelmed because I was clueless about what I was doing. But then I do remember talking to myself and telling myself that you can do it and don't give up, you know, just keep trying. And if you need help to reach out to the instructor and ask for help and don't feel bad about it, you're not the only one. And I was so proud of myself for handling it like that because the old me would have been very mean to myself. I would have been saying stuff like, why can't you learn this? Why you don't understand this? What's wrong with you? But I have learned to be kind to myself. I have learned not to believe the negative voices because what you believe and what you think you become. Tip number three, say positive things to yourself. Every so often, look at yourself in the mirror instead of focusing on things that you don't like. Find something about yourself that you do like. For example, I like my eyes. I like my smile. And so I compliment myself in those areas and I focus more on those areas when I look at myself in the mirror. Tip number four, become your best friend. How would you treat your best friend? Would you be nice to your best friend? How would you interact with your best friend? Would you encourage your best friend? Treat yourself like you would your best friend. I am learning to be nice to myself, not to say mean things to myself to have patience with myself and not to be so hard on myself. I'm learning to encourage myself. And I can say that ever since I have started doing that, I feel differently about myself. I am learning to embrace the things about myself that I didn't like and turn it into something positive. It's a scripture in the Bible. It talks about how that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Tell yourself that you were made in God's image. I have a question for you. Do you have an issue with loving yourself? And if you do, I would like to know why. If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flow and it's for Christian women. The main focus of the group is self-development. So if you are interested in self-improvement, you should join my Facebook group. Be on the lookout for my next upload about how to love yourself. Thank you for tuning in. 
Bye.